I wanna talk now about a different way to view meat eaters that might also help vegans and their mental health because when you think about it, 99% of the people around you are gonna be meat eaters. And why would you wanna function in a way where you know everyone around you, you view to be equal to like a random guy abusing and kicking a dog on the street? Hey, what is up guys? So today's video is going to be geared towards vegans who are already vegan and even people that are thinking about going vegan with respect to going and remaining vegan without going insane. So what do I mean by going insane? Well, the primary thing I mean in this video is just maintaining more like positive mental health because when you go vegan and you become an ethical vegan and you expose yourself to all the horrific things that animals go through, this can, for obvious reasons, have a very negative impact on your psychological health. If there's time at the end of this video, I might even go into how to avoid falling into the trap of very unscientific and insane diets, like the fruitarian diet or you know the excessively raw diet, water fasting, and all the weird things that tend to somehow integrate themselves into the ethical vegan movement. This video is also without a script because this is a thing that I've been thinking about for a while now, and I kind of just want to give my raw thoughts and try to help you guys just maintain better health. And you'll find that there's many reasons why you should do this, even with respect to maintaining very effective vegan activism. And if you don't plan on being a vegan activist, this advice will still help you just from a general psychological perspective. So I've been vegan for around six years now, and I've seen many different kinds of vegans in terms of mental health. I've seen some vegans that are extremely miserable. I've seen vegans that are more like in between miserable and happy and then other vegans that are extremely happy the majority of the time. So for obvious reasons, when you become vegan and you become aware of all the horrific things that occur and you are now finding yourself surrounded by a bunch of people who actively engage in a holocaust, that can, you know, affect your mental health pretty negatively. Now, there are things that I've seen a lot of different vegans do, even some vegans close to me. So, you know, if you're watching this, you know who I'm talking about, who do things and engage in habits that aren't really, in my opinion, necessary, that further contribute to just feeling like shit and feeling like the world is just the worst place ever. And, you know, this in turn makes your psychological and mental health terrible. So I think that when you are a vegan and you've been convinced of everything, there really isn't much need for you to continuously expose yourself to all of this horrific footage. I'm on Instagram and I post a lot of different things that have the purpose of sparking debate between carnists and vegans. And I'll often see so many vegans that are very passionate, of course, but also angry at uh, meat eaters. They become very ineffective when it comes to exchanging with them because they're just being insulting or being very negative and not being very open to the fact that these people, just like them, were at one point conditioned and, you know, victim of 20 plus years of habituation of eating animal products and haven't thought about it till now. Basically, these vegans are so emotionally charged that they forget what it's like to be a non-vegan who hasn't thought about this stuff until now. So often I'll see who these vegans are following and more often than not, I find that they're following those accounts that repost some of the most horrific atrocities that animals are going through throughout the world. And before I go on with this point, I'm not trying to say that those accounts are useless. They're definitely useful in terms of spreading the word and showing people what animals are going through. But I'm trying to make the point right now that when you're already convinced of these things, if viewing this footage every day is putting you in a state of mind that is making you incapable of properly communicating with meat eaters in a way that is effective and that is void of extreme emotional charge, then you probably should reflect on the fact that this is really affecting your mental state. And outside of the way this can influence your activism ability, I mean, viewing this kind of stuff is just awful. And like, it's not the first thing I wanna see when I wake up in the morning and I grab my phone and then boom, here's some footage of a dog being tortured in this country or cows drowning in their own blood. These things are awful. And I've already seen all this footage and I don't really wanna see it anymore. And I don't have a study on this, but I think it's very true to say that people who actively and constantly expose themselves to this terrible footage who are already vegan probably are less effective at communicating with meat eaters because they're coming from more a place of emotion. Just in my anecdotal experience, I can tell that after watching a bunch of footage, I will be much less likely to use my traditional Socratic logical method and talking to meat eaters. And instead I'm gonna wanna, you know, be more aggressive and just be like, you know, fuck you, stop eating animals. So just to summarize this part of the video, I think that many people should take a step back and realize what exposing themselves to so much suffering on a daily basis is doing to not only their mental health, 
but also their ability to communicate with meat eaters. It's very true to say that, you know, what you expose yourself to on social media kind of creates your mental reality. So if what you're seeing on social media is just majority torture and suffering, that's for obvious reasons gonna affect your mental state in a negative way. If you end up following, you know, a bunch of happy animal pages where you're seeing a bunch of animals be set free and, you know, be put in a sanctuary or things that are more positive, you're gonna have a more positive outlook on the world. And this might in turn make you a bit more happy when you're talking to meat eaters, which can make you a much more effective communicator. And I'm just gonna say it one more time because I don't want this to be misconstrued. I'm not saying that sharing this footage is not valuable. It obviously is, but if it's affecting your mental health, just take a step back and realize that and maybe consider exposing yourself to different kinds of stimuli through social media. And hopefully this can help you just feel better overall and make you a better communicator. And I want to acknowledge that there are certainly people who can expose themselves to terrible things on a daily basis through social media while maintaining positive mental health. I mean, that's not me, but I know there's certain people that can. And if you're one of those people, then yeah, this video doesn't really apply to you. But if you are a vegan right now, or you plan on going vegan, just try to be mindful of what you expose yourself to because it really can just fuck you up in a variety of ways. You can just get the feeling that everything sucks all the time. And this really plays into the whole fact that the news is so big on exposing negative shit all the time as well. You know, negative headlines tend to be more prominent than positive ones. And this can make people even outside of veganism just think that the world is falling apart. And this can cause like a global mental shift in people's minds and make them think that everything sucks. I wanna talk now about a different way to view meat eaters that might also help vegans and their mental health because when you think about it, 99% of the people around you are gonna be meat eaters. And why would you wanna function in a way where you know everyone around you, you view to be equal to like a random guy abusing and kicking a dog on the street? So it's important to remember that a person who ends up kicking a dog on the street is kicking a dog on a street, at least in the Western world, in a society where they were told that that was terrible. And that to me makes that person much more morally distinct from a person who was raised their entire life to consider meat eating correct and also is surrounded by people who do it as well. So when you view people from a psychological and sociological perspective and you view them as products of their genes and their environment, then you can be a bit more understanding of what they do when it comes to not being vegan. I am by no means justifying the behavior of not being vegan. Obviously supporting animal agriculture is fucking gross, but I'm just trying to say that if you view people in this way as products of their environment, it can make you much more understanding and less angry and less angry at the world and individuals. And this can make you just generally feel less shitty. To make this point more clear, just imagine two hypothetical vegans. The first one views every single meat eater in the same way that dog lovers today view a dog abuser or somebody who is just completely psychopathically kicking a dog in the street. Obviously that vegan is going to be much more angry than a vegan who, you know, views meat eaters as doing something bad, but also understands that these meat eaters are doing things because they've been conditioned their entire lives to do them and are surrounded by a bunch of people who also do them. And as I said before, this can in turn make you a better activist because you can be more calm in your delivery of the vegan message and less insulting and less aggressive, which as we all know, can cause people to get very defensive very quickly and that is not productive and destroys the medium between a vegan activist and a non-vegan, which makes sending the vegan message much more difficult. And listen, maybe this video isn't for everybody. Maybe some people just enjoy having this fuck the world mentality. Me personally, with my theoretically limited time on this planet and in life and you know just being a conscious being, I want to maximize the amount of time that I feel good while trying to make the world a better place. So for me, it's been very useful to unfollow a lot of the terrible footage that I used to follow and more so follow happier stuff. And I've noticed in my anecdotal experience that my general well-being has gone up. All right, guys, so I've decided that I'm not going to go into the nutrition stuff just because this video would go on for too long and I think it's a bit more complex and I should probably have more data on hand before going into the topic. Sorry if this video got repetitive at certain points. Like I said, this video was not scripted whatsoever and I just wanted to convey my feelings on this because I've been seeing so many vegans lately that are so angry and it's just not really needed and it really doesn't help your ability to communicate with meat eaters and your activism or your mental health. As usual, thank you guys so much for watching. If you support my content and want to support me on Patreon, the link is in my description. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Dude, even vegans don't get your weird, stupid wannabe sense of irony here. W who is your audience? Nobody gets these dumb jokes. Dude, even vegans don't get your weird, stupid,